was good, family. So, getting ready to do my workout, getting ready to train. Today is back day. I like training back. But anyway, before I get busy with that, I got to get a video out. I'm checking out a lady the other day. I think I talked about her on yesterday's video. A lady named Dana or something. Or other. And um, she likes to have Judge Joe Brown on. Right? So, as y'all know, the past couple of videos, I've been kind of referencing Judge Joe Brown a lot. Judge Joe Brown said he's 77 years old. He don't really care anymore. He's just going to tell the truth as he see it. I can respect that. I can appreciate that, you know? I mean, a lot of people, I mean, a lot of honest people. Not even honest people. A lot of people in general get old and really stop giving a fuck about whose feelings they hurt. I, I, I'm, I'm starting to think Judge Joe Brown is one of those people. Judge Joe Brown talked. Um, well, I actually just heard it. Judge Joe, Joe Brown talked about Ike and Tina Turner. Now, granted, these interviews, from what I can tell, happened last fall seven, eight months ago, a long time ago. And I ain't hear shit about it. So Judge Joe Brown is uh Judge Joe Brown is talking about when he was younger. <clears throat> when he was younger. And he used to um he used to know Ike Turner and Tina Turner. I mean he was a little boy and everything, Judge Joe Brown was. And he said that that uh, he used to run into Ike Turner all the time, lived down the road from him. And Ike Turner was kind of a stand-up guy in the community. He used to try to help keep the little boys on the straight and narrow, tell them to stay in school, blah, 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 do the right thing, blah, blah, blah. And Tina was the crazy, pimped-out individual in the relationship. That Tina was the one that had all the angst. That Tina was the crazy one in the relationship and the abuser in the relationship primarily. That Tina had was, was pimping. They called her the madam back then, but she was pimping and, had, and was running the hoes and slapping up people and shooting people and cutting up from a very early age. And that even and that when her and Ike got together, she was the hellraiser. Go back and check out the videos. I'm not going to get into the details of it, but yeah. And these interviews, like I said, was seven, eight months ago. And nobody heard a thing. I just heard about it the day before yesterday. And I tell you, I promise you I'm on top of shit like this. So the media, in that What's Love Got to Do With It movie, the media, Hollywood and the media, They've been protecting Tina Turner's identity all this time, her whole career. They've been protecting um, Tina Turner's identity when she was batshit crazy. Kind of like they did with Whitney Houston. They protect their money source. See, they got a black woman who, they, who, who was really a cash cow for them, the record companies, the music companies, the TV companies, because, you know, a lot of times, crazy ones, They'd be real pretty, too, because Tina Turner was fine as hell. And uh, we all know uh, Whitney Houston was very pr pretty to look at. But they'd be just as crazy as they are beautiful. And raise just as much hell, but they always demonize the man. Like they demonized Bobby Brown when he was fucking with Whitney Houston all them years. It was all Bobby's fault. See... These lies don't do nothing but further demonize heterosexual black men. This motherfucking campaign, this anti-black man campaign been going on shit ever since goddamn day one after slavery. And you know what was happening during slavery. I'm going to digress for a second. I'm going to digress for just a second. 
back during slavery, because, you know, I used to do a lot of research on this shit, a lot of slave masters and slave owners and their sons and their relatives and their visitors all was given bed winches. A black slave girl to keep their bed warm and that they could do whatever they wanted with. But you hear black women who date white men always talking about how we started the shit first. We as black men started chasing white women first. We was getting hung up by our goddamn. I, all I got, all the only answer I got for that is Emmett Till. He was a 14 year old boy, y'all know the story, who they claim whist whistled at a white woman. And, and look what happened to him. So we didn't fuck with white women like that. It was the other way around. And if a black man and a white woman got together, more than likely it was the white woman who, was, who initiated the shit back in the day. But we was getting hung up left, right, and center by even looking at white women. And black women had already realized, had long realized the power they had over white men. Now, back to the topic. You got um, Tina Turner and Ike, Ike and Tina Turner in that movie, and they got Ike looking like a straight psychopath. And this campaign to destroy black men started before the Ike and Tina Turner thing. You know what I'm saying? It started way before that. Look at the color purple. Look at O.J. motherfucking Simpson. Look what they did to that young kid, uh, Chris Brown. I ain't even got to start. Don't even get me started with R. Kelly and, and Bill Cosby. And shit, Tavis Smiley, Neil deGrasse Tyson. All these men, they tried to throw dirt on their name. And straight up goddamn character assassinate them. You know what I'm saying? And it goes on and on and on. Straight demonize and neutralize and beat black men into the goddamn dirt. And here it goes again with this Tina Turner thing. And anybody that looked like they might be able to, to change uh, the perception of black men, they get neutralized or killed. Now, anybody who don't believe that ain't been paying fucking attention. But go check out that, that, that Judge Joe Brown interview where he was talking about Tina Turner. Then I saw another video, right, where it was a woman talking about the untold story of Ike and Tina Turner. She still demonized Ike, but in her story, after a short time of them being together, Tina got just as wild as Ike was, as far as his drugs and hoe hopping and all of that shit. I venture to say she was already crazy before Ike met her. I venture to say that. Because I'm going to tell you something, man. I've known in my life a lot of pretty crazy women. Or crazy pretty women. I just want to put, I just want to do I just want to say it. And I'm talking about devious, abusive, psychopath women that were straight beautiful, had nice bodies and everything, but that's where that shit ended. So it ain't that much of a stretch for me to believe that Tina Turner was crazy as a shithouse rat. And that that movie they made you got to take all of that shit, half of it never happened, and the rest of it, you got to flip it on its fucking head to get closer to the truth. The demonization of black men is something that this motherfucking country is addicted to. The only time they want heterosexual black men around is when we dribbling a basketball, running a football. That's why all the little black boys in the neighborhood want to be in the NFL or the NBA. When I say all, I mean most, because <clears throat> I've, I've, I've talked to whole rooms full of young uh, middle school black boys, and all of them stick their hand up when I say, how many of y'all going to the NFL? How many of y'all going to the NBA? 
You know what I mean? But that's the only time white America want anything to do with black boys and black men. If you don't know that shit by now, if you don't know what's happening by now, it's, you ain't paying attention or you don't want to know. But they put it right in your face. Every night on TV. Every night on TV. It's some beige, uh, curly-haired chick hooked up with some white boy or some lame-ass brother who can't get out of his own way chasing after some white girl who don't really want shit to do with it. Or you don't see the black dude at all. Or if you do see him, he gay. Or he old as fuck and, and non-threatening. This shit got to stop. This shit got to stop. It's got to be called attention to. And it's got to fucking stop. Either that or we got to stop. We got to stop running and jumping and playing for these motherfuckers. Otherwise, one day, one day, little kids going to look at motherfucking TV and see a nigga my complexion and wonder how the fuck I got so black. How the fuck he got so black when everybody around him is either white or beige. One of them big ass lies that everybody like to tell and everybody like to listen to that black men is the devil. And then and 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 let me say this before I go. Look at what they did to that man name since then. Ike Turner has become synonymous with abuse of women. Ike Turner has become synonymous with, synonymous with abuse of women. Ike Turner and OJ Simpson. You know, not Harvey Weinstein or Les Moonves or, you know, Charlie Rhodes, but black men being made to face of everything evil. Only thing I could do is look at our athletes and our entertainers and say, y'all got to do something about that shit. Y'all got to do something about that shit. I know I'm going to do my part, though. I'm going to do my part. Anyway, that's it, y'all. I got to get ready to go do this workout. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.